pro drafts or apple notes it really comes down to what matters to you most even though pro drafts might be the better app with more features it doesn't necessarily mean it's the right app for you so which handwriting app should you go for let's find out if you're on a budget and you'd rather not pay for a handwriting or taking app then apple notes is the app you want to go for it is free and is also available on more platforms. Unlike ProDrafts, Apple Notes has a web version that you can access from any web browser. It is not the best version of the app, but it is certainly much better than not having it at all, which is the case you have with ProDrafts, a handwriting note taking app that is strictly limited to the Apple ecosystem. You can get it for a one time purchase of $8. But if you prefer a subscription, then that will be $7 a year. The one-time purchase is not a bad option if you have a tight budget. There is a method to minimalism where you don't have too many options, fewer icons, and everything on a single screen. No moving around trying to find things or navigate through screens. Apple Notes is brilliant with that even with the annoying handwriting toolbar. The toolbar is just too big and gets in the way sometimes. Both apps don't have theme colors. It's one less decision to worry about. That is always a good thing in my books. Lack of full screen though is not good, but both apps are lacking there, so. ProDrafts also doesn't have a customizable toolbar, and it's not minimalist enough because you have a home page that is completely different from your workspace. Its mobile toolbar is much smaller and doesn't take up too much space on the screen. That is if you ignore the third toolbar that looks like the one in Apple Notes. Compared to Pro Drafts and most handwriting note taking apps, Apple Notes doesn't have any page template options at all. Both apps don't have covers for your notebooks, and after that, ProDrafts makes Apple Notes look like a joke with its templates, custom page colors, line spacing, and orientation. Even though page sizes are limited to a few basics, it's much better than not having any as is the case with Apple Notes. Your custom page templates are also limited to single pages from photos and PDFs, but in Apple Notes, you can't use custom templates at all. The best part about ProDrafts is that if you really like the setup in Apple Notes where your pages are vertically infinite, you can still opt for that setup. You even have an infinite canvas, which are all the options you don't get in Apple Notes whatsoever. This app has one of the best page options you will get in a handwriting note taking app on iPad. Even though the two apps name their pen tools differently, they're effectively the same. ProDrafts uses the handwriting toolbar in Apple Notes, so that's a bit obvious that they'll be the same. In both apps, you don't have a fountain pen, the eraser is not selective, and there is no zoom window. But ProDrafts has a slight edge with a favorites toolbar, even if it's not separate from the main toolbar. It makes using custom colors a lot easier, which solves one of the worst pains of using Apple Notes. Another minor improvement to the basic tools is an eraser, with the option to auto deselect and the ability to clear your pages. That is because in ProDraft you have distinct pages. Even though the zoom range for your page is not great, it's better than not having it at all. I always find myself needing to zoom in on my notes in Apple Notes. Keep asking myself why do we not have a zoom tool in the app? So ProDraft solves that problem. In both apps, you can hand draw your shapes or use the shapes tool. Apple Notes does not support irregular shapes though. And in 2025, that is difficult to accept.
You can add arrows and simple curves in both apps and your shapes are very customizable. Borders and auto fills, even their opacities. The whole package. ProDrafts even has an extra border style, which is one more than Apple Notes. It lets you add text inside your shapes and also supports geometric scaling. It works better on some shapes than others. Though body text in Apple Notes is great, text boxes aren't, at least compared to Pro Drafts. Without any styling, list opacity, and line spacing, you really can't do much with your text in Apple Notes. Formatting and alignment are not amazing options for text boxes. Pro Drafts can style your text boxes as much as your shapes. You even get some preset styles and round corners. The app also supports line and letter spacing for your text. When you're happy with your text box style, you can save it. The only thing you'll miss in Pro Drafts are lists. Like Apple Notes, it doesn't have them for your text boxes. You're not going to get much if you add your photos to body text in Apple Notes, and since we didn't even talk about body text, Seeing that ProDraft doesn't have it, let's focus on the best place to add your photos in the app, which is with your handwriting. Even then, ProDraft still has a better photos feature than Apple Notes. It has amazing cropping options, the circular one, and can even lock your images. It also supports videos that can do so much more than you can in Apple Notes. Both apps suck with audio recording depending on what you're trying to accomplish. They don't sync your audio with your notes, but at least you can take notes while recording in Pro Drafts. That setup is not possible in Apple Notes, which takes you away from your notes when recording. The only bright side to that setup is that you can transcribe your audio in real time while there. ProDrafts, on the other hand, doesn't transcribe anything, but you can merge different audio recordings into a single file. That's the only editing you get, which is a lot more than Apple Notes has to offer, but still not impressive enough. Noise reduction is terrible, and playback in both apps is basic. In Apple Notes, your lasso tool is not selective for anything. Handwriting editing is also very simple, where you can only change the color of your ink and nothing else. You have the same limitation in Pro Drafts. By far, the best feature you have in Apple Notes is the ability to create space between items in your notes. Even the infinite canvas in Pro Drafts doesn't support this. You instead get selectivity that can pick up specific items off the page, handwriting, attachments, pins, and artboard. You can also take a screenshot of your selection, an option that you do not get in Apple Notes. I would always argue that copying handwriting as text to paste it in other apps is much better than converting it to text. But even better than that, we should have options. Unfortunately, in both apps, we can only copy handwriting as text and search through it. ProDraft also converts equations, which Apple Notes does not, so it has a bit of an edge against Apple Notes. For iPad OS support, obviously, Apple Notes is better. It has true dark mode, widgets, and better AI interaction with your handwriting. The app supports smart selection and handwriting refine, which you do not have in ProDrafts. ProDrafts can only straighten, translate, and proofread your notes. Both apps support data detection, scribble, and live text input for your text. ProDrafts lags behind because it does not support true dark mode and it does not have any widgets. 
Both apps don't have previews for your search results. Filters are not worth much if we can't preview what we're searching, so we hope to see that in both apps in the future. Apple Notes organizes your notes a bit better than Pro Drafts. Your results are organized into top hits, notes, and attachments, which Pro Draft doesn't do. It's not going to make you choose one app over the other though, but it's worth noting. If links are a big part of how you work, you will love ProDrafts because the app links to everything in your notes. It is one of the best linking you will get in a handwriting note taking app. Unfortunately, everything goes downhill after that. The app does not have tags or smart folders and you can't lock your notebooks and folders. Even though it is just manual, at least we have a backup option. It's not the greatest, but it's better than not having it at all. Both apps don't link to any cloud services, and they don't have version history. Version history we can forgive, but cloud services, not so much. At least they can sync across your devices. Smart folders and tags give Apple Notes an edge against Pro Drafts for organizing your notes. But linking your notes is not as great as it is in Pro Drafts. And even though you can lock your notebooks and folders, there's a lot of limitation around that. Apple Notes also does not have backup, and that is a huge pain. Apple Notes is the best app for text-based notes that are simple and quick. Its body text is great with that, a feature you don't get in Pro Drafts. It is also brilliant if you work with other people. That is because Apple Notes supports collaboration. As a handwriting note-taking app though, Apple Notes does not even come close to what you can accomplish with Pro Drafts. Pro Drafts has mind maps, tape, a timer, stopwatch, page editing, and exporting options, all features you do not have in Apple Notes. One problem we forgot to mention when we reviewed Pro Drafts is that parts of the app's user interface have not been translated to English yet. It's unpleasant to deal with. Our team relies heavily on body text and collaboration though. That is why we use Apple Notes. But which of these two apps best fits your note taking goals? Do let us know in the comments. Until next time, fantastic human. Stay fantastic.